uh, going to somebody else, voting for somebody to help us. Bring that just don't up. make no sense. You can't vote for somebody to help you. I ain't never seen any president come in any neighborhood I ever lived in and help the p little kids on the street. Bring it out. It's about us. Like they say, um, they say pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. Right. But that's what it's about. You got to help yourself. Go to Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it out. It's about you helping yourself. You see the problem. We see the problem every single day. And then we'll ride through our community listening to NBA young boy wondering why everybody messed up. We'll ride through the community listening to Lil Boosie, uh, listening to Cardi B, Meg the Stallion. We'll listen to this music all day long and wonder why the community messed up. Bring it up. Why you think it's messed up? Because you're filling your mind with garbage all day long. You're watching garbage all day long. We ain't reading books in our communities. We're not teaching each other. We're not teaching economics in our communities. We're not doing none of that. We fill ourselves with the ways of the world. We wonder why our communities messed up. Right. We sit around and go, why are the police in our communities? Because you commit crime. That's right. why they're in your community. Y'all want to defund the police? Hey, you crazy. <laughs> you are crazy if you don't want the police in your community. As much as we shoot and kill one another. Bring it out. You are crazy. Read. Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 17. Go ahead. As for us. Our eyes is yet failed for our vain help. And that's what happened to us all the time. The Bible is talking about us. This Bible was written for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. That's what this book is for. It was written to the Israelites. It says, as for us, our eyes have failed for fake help, for vain help. We failed for lies. We believe in politics. They got black people happy right now. Right. They're like, right. They're like Joe Biden is the president of the United States. What is that going to change? That just means we got the old racism back. Right. See, the new racism was right in your face. Trump will call you a nigga to your face. Right. Joe Biden, he'll just call you one at his country club. Right. right. So we got the old racism back, right? So we happy. We shouldn't be worried about the world. Who the Chinese people voted for? Hmm. But guess what? They got uh, they got businesses in your neighborhood. Bring it out. Who the Arab men voted for? Nobody knows. But guess what? They got business in your communities, right? right. Who the East Indian voted for? Nobody knows. But guess what? They own property in all your communities. Right. Politics is not going to help you. Keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments is the only thing that can help you out of your captivity. Right. right. Read that again. As for us, our eyes is yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Is that does that not sound like us today? We watching for a nation that's not going to save us. Right. They do not care about you. Camilla Harris just became black. She right. wasn't black before. She was uh, Indian. Right. Right. When she was Indian, um, East, East Indian, East Indian uh, before. Asian, Nobody Asian. called her black. Now nah, what? Now nah, she the first black vice president. Y'all got to open your eyes. Y'all got to open your eyes and stop falling for the same tricks over and over and over again. Because you know what's going to happen? Y'all going to fall back to sleep. Give me Romans chapter 13, verse 11. See, Trump woke everybody up. Trump had black men walking in the street trying to get you off your butt. Let's get something together. Let's move in the right direction. You got what that, what's that, the crazy people, NFAC? Right. Yeah, black men running through neighborhoods with guns and coming together and stuff like that. Trump was waking everybody up. They was like, oh, wait a minute. We got to put these Negroes back to sleep. Right. Let's give them Sleepy Joe and a black vice president. Everything's right. going to be okay. And then we're going to go back to where we used to be. Back, we're still on the bottom. We didn't make a change. Nothing really changed. I mean, when Obama was the president, what, did, the, did, did we have less hoods? Bring it out. Because the same hood that I used to go to when I was little, after Obama was the president, it was the same hood. It didn't change. They didn't, like, paint all the buildings or something like that. Right. You know, they didn't get rid of the roaches. It's the same hood. I don't know, maybe it was different in Little Rock, Arkansas, no, but sir. where I'm from, the hood is still a hood. Right. It ain't changed under no president. Read that again. Read. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time 
to a wake out of sleep. So guess what? Right now it's time to wake up out of sleep. Don't get rocked back to sleep by them telling you, oh, we got a, a old white man as the president. He want to help you. He don't care about you. We are 13% of the population. They do not care about 13% of the population. They say more black men voted for Trump this year than last year. You know who didn't vote? White men didn't vote for Trump. And that's why he lost. Don't sit around and let them paint your picture and say you had anything to do with this man making it to the White House. But that's just a lie they're going to tell you. And guess what? We don't want to read. We ain't reading. We ain't about to study. We ain't about to research. We just going to go with it. Read that again. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. It says now our salvation is nearer than we believe. Go to Isaiah chapter 32. Yes, sir. Isaiah 32. Because we got a what? Well, they say we got a liberal in the White House again, right? Right. Everybody happy? Liberal, liberal, liberal. What does that even mean? What does liberal mean? It means you can kill your baby. That's what liberal means. Liberal mean a man can marry a man. That's what liberal mean. A woman can marry a woman. Soon it's going to mean that a man can marry a kid. Right. That's what liberal is going to mean because that's where it's going. All these things are happening right now behind your eyes, behind your eyes right now. Right. Read that. Uh, 32, 32 and verse. Now nah, start at verse. Start at verse 5. Yes, sir. Bring it up. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 5. The vile person shall be no more called liberal. The Bible letting you know what's going on. He said that the vile person shall no more be called liberal. Guess what? He's going to be exposed. Right. The true liberals are going to be exposed to the vile people that they are. Think about that. Liberal people go to Africa and they tell African women, hey, we'll give you some uh, abortions and we'll give you some... Um, What's that? Um, uh, contraceptives, Planned Parenthood, all those different things. The women in Africa like, we don't need all that. We want, we want some health care. We want some medicine. They're like, yeah, but we're going to give you abortions. That's what liberal does. That's the liberal people. That's the vile person the Bible is talking about. Read. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 5 the vile person shall be caught shall be no more called liberal Just think about what they push in our communities. Think about what the Democrats actually say They say it's okay for a woman to kill their baby bring it out That's what they say. They don't teach. Hey, maybe you should wait until you get married before you lay down and have sex and get pregnant They right. don't teach that right they teach do whatever you want to do and if you don't like it, then just kill the baby. It is what it is. And a lot of people don't, don't want to hear this. They don't want to hear that truth. They want to hear, oh, well, you got the choice to do whatever you want to do. I don't know. My parents made a choice, and I'm here, and I'm happy. That's uh, right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's hearing this, your parents made the right choice. But some people, they don't make that choice because liberals say it's okay for you to kill your baby. Read. Nor the child said to be bountiful. For the vile person will speak villainy. The vile people, the liberals, they speak villainy. Right now, I listen to politics sometimes, and I don't really like some of the stuff that Donald Trump be saying. But at least he ain't saying you can kill your baby. Bring it out. I mean, at least he don't say that. At least he ain't saying that a man can go inside another man's butt. He ain't saying that. I mean, at least he not speaking that type of wickedness. Right. I mean, I know he hate my guts. They all hate our guts. Right. But at least he's saying, hey, you need to take care of your baby. You need to have the baby. Don't kill the baby. They got places where you, the baby can be seven, eight months. They stick a knife in the woman and cut the baby throat. Right. And that's okay. Liberals say that's okay. But now we're happy because we have a liberal in the White House again. I'm telling y'all, it's all made to put you back to sleep. Right. The liberals put Planned Parenthood in your communities right. when you didn't ask for it. We just ask for jobs. They say, no, we're going to give you a place where you can kill your baby. Right. That's what they did. Read. For the vile person will speak villainy, Go ahead. and his heart will work iniquity. His heart works what? Work iniquity. Their heart works iniquity. They try to figure out ways to keep the uh, your eyes covered so you think Everything is all good. What's that Lyndon B. Johnson said? He said, I'm going to have these niggas voting Democrat for thousands of years. Bring it out. That's what he said. You think they cared about you? You think when they signed the, doc the declaration, 
the Constitution that they was like, all men are created equal. And my pets. They ain't care about us because that's what we were. We were farm animals to them back then. Right. It didn't matter. They had islands where they raped our women and stuff like that. Right. They fed our kids to alligators. That's what they did. That's the truth. They hung you. They set you on fire. They cut pregnant women's stomach open and ripped babies out. Right. And now you believe that they care about you because Joe Biden is in the White House. Bring it out. You crazy. <laughs> Our people crazy. You better wake up and come back to Christ. That's right. That's the only person that care about you. You better come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments that's in this Bible. That's right. Bring to practice hypocrisy. They practice what? Hypocrisy. They practice hypocrisy. You best believe that they ain't telling their daughters to have abortions Bring and to sleep out. around and it's okay and everything is all good. They ain't teaching their kids that, but they teaching your kids that. I bet you can't find a Planned Parenthood in a rich white neighborhood nowhere. Bring it out. You ain't going to find it nowhere because they don't practice that stuff. They tell you to do it. Right. They tell you to kill your baby. They put you on welfare. Right. They put you in housing projects. That's what they do to you. They don't want you out getting a job and working. We're the most, we're the most powerful, smartest, diligent people on the planet. But you know what they do? They baby you. They pacify you. Right. Give me that in um, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Bring it out. Give me Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. This is what they do to you. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Go ahead. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. It says oppression makes a wise man mad. You may listen to me and say, well, that brother full of anger over there. Yeah, you right up full of anger. Because right. I see the sons of God laying on the street right now. Bring it up. And we're supposed to be the guys of this place. We're supposed to be the rules of this place. We're supposed to be on top of every nation in this place. Right. So you best believe I am upset. Read. And a gift destroyeth the heart. And what destroys the heart? A gift destroyeth the heart. That's what they do. They give us gifts. They give us prayer parenthood. They give us welfare. They give us uh, WIC. They give us Section 8. They give us all these things in our communities to stop you from doing the best that you can do. Right. Because every time we start doing something, we're the best at it. They steal all our patents, the best scientists, everything. Everything we do, we're the best at it. It is what it is. They steal everything from us. That gift that you think you getting, that liberal gift that you think you getting, is destroying your mind. That's right. It's destroying your mind. Let's go back to where we was at. Let's read that. Read. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 6. For the vile person will speak villainy. And his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. To practice hypocrisy. Like I said before, all these social programs you don't find in their communities. You don't find in their neighborhoods. They're not teaching this stuff to their to they, uh, families. And y'all all know I ain't lying. Read. And to utter error against the Lord. And they utter error against the Lord. These liberals, you got Joe Biden and these liberals, they go to the Christian church every Sunday but they teach it's okay for you to have a commit abortion. Right. They think that homo they teach that homosexuality is okay. That it should be legal here. Read that again. And to utter error against the Lord. And they utter error against the Lord. But they supposed to be liberal though. Y'all think liberal is good. When you hear liberal and democrat, you think black. Right. That's what you think. Right? Keep reading. To make empty the soul of the hungry. They said they make empty the soul of the hungry. That hunger is talking about us, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They make our souls empty. Just, I just want to just think about what's going through the mind of our sisters sitting in the uh, abortion clinic. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? While they was with a dude that said that he loved her and he was going to be there for her forever and just do this and let's do that and let's get this going on. We're going to have a family. And now she's sitting in the abortion clinic about to kill her baby. It says that they make empty the soul of the hungry. Read. And he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. It caused the drink of the thirsty to fail. We out here looking for something. We try, that's what that, and that's what I'm saying. They want to get, they got rid of Trump because we were starting to see something. 
we were starting to wake up. We were starting to realize that we was behind enemy lines. Because right. at one point, everything was all good with us. Hey, Oprah Winfrey rich, so that right. mean I'm rich. Jay-Z rich, so that mean I'm rich. Hey, Barack Obama, that mean I'm good. At one point, we was okay with our oppression. We was okay being in chains. We were okay being on the bottom. We was okay being in the projects, in the slums. We was okay with all this stuff. But guess what? They put Donald Trump in there and made us say, wait a minute, this ain't right. Donald Trump said, hey, you done tried everything else. What have you to lose? You already on the bottom. Right. You already got the worst health care. You already got the worst education. What else you got to lose? It started to make us say, wait a minute, it's, it's not good for us out here. It's messed up. And then you had all these white supremacist groups that was all emboldened and happy and proud. It made us really realize that we are still slaves here in America. Right. They make more money off us now than they did when we was free labor. Bring it out. Read. Verse 7. The instruments also of the Joel are evil. And their instruments are evil. Everything that they use is evil against our people. Read. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. He, de he devises wicked devices. It's talking about the liberals. Right. It's talking about the Democrats. It says they devise wicked devices to do what? To destroy the poor with lying words. That's why you got the EBT, right? That's why you got uh, uh, the what now? Section 8. That's why you got Section 8. They make you think everything all good. They devise that. They put that in a place for you not to go out there and get no money. They want you to think, there ain't no jobs out there. What y'all talking about, ain't no jobs out there? Right, right. You can, you can go be a truck driver. You can make, what, $4,000 a month, easy. Right. Easy money, jumping a truck. They got women driving trucks right now. Right. It's so much work out there for truck drivers out there, it's crazy, it don't cost you no money. But guess what, they don't want you doing that. Right. They want you sitting on your butt, having babies, and getting your government check. Right. That's what the vice that they devised for you. Why are they not in our communities having um, programs to show us how to get jobs? What about that? They're not showing us trades and stuff like that. They want to spend money on something. Spend money on that. Nah, they like say, no, nah, everything all good. All you got to do is just sit in your house all day. We'll send you a check on Wednesday. Bring it up. That's a wicked, evil device. Read. Even when the needy speaketh right. It says, even when the needy speaketh right. That's it, don't it? Read. But the liberal deviseth liberal things. It says, but they devise liberal things. Things to do whatever you want to do. But when the needy speaketh right, nobody want to hear that thing. Right? That's why they call it, what they call it, uh, food deserts. Right. In our community, they got food deserts. Meaning, you can't get good food and poor black communities. Bring it up. You get jungle juice with 89 grams of sugar and one serving and it's 80 servings in the bottle. Bring it up. That's why we all got diabetes and high blood pressure because of the food that they put in our communities. Right. Guess who putting this food in our communities? The liberals, right. the Democrats, the Republicans ain't doing it. They don't give a damn. They say get a job. Go get a job and buy your own food. But who putting this bad food in our communities? The liberals. Joe Biden putting it in your community. Hillary Clinton putting it in your community. Barack Obama putting it in your community. Bill Clinton putting it in your community. That's where all this stuff coming from. All the evil, wicked stuff that's coming in our communities is given to us by the so-called liberal man. Right. By the so-called liberal woman that they care about you so much. But look what they feed you. Read. And by liberal things shall he stand. Go ahead. Keep going. Verse 9, rise up, ye women that are at ease. The Bible says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Because guess what? You got a lot of men that's out here trying to do the work and try and fix things. But what we get to hear? Ah, uh, these brothers ain't nothing, this and that. It ain't just about the men rising up. It's about the women rising up also to know that who they are, that they also kings and princesses on this earth, that they are the princesses on this planet. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold, 
Europe, I'm Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.